But one of the things he, well, the thing he said, he really didn't say much. The, th the thing he said was, uh, Bob, just make good candy. And I, I thought, well, yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> The people too high ah, mess around They're doing the mess around They're doing the mess around Everybody doing the mess around Ah, everybody was juice You can bet your soul They did the boogie boogie With a study roll They mess around They're doing the mess around They're doing the mess around Everybody doing the mess around. Now, -uh. when I say stop, don't you move a pain. When I say go, just uh, shake your leg and do the mess around. I declare, do the mess around. Yeah, do the mess around. Everybody's doing the mess around. Now, let me have it, that boy. sameness because mm -hmm. that that completes them you know, they want they want to hang on to things that will always be what they expect you know give them uh, what they've always gotten from year year to year and year but at the same time they'll be wanting something new a new experience uh, what's what's going on in the horizon sort of thing uh, my first candy experience was working with a consulting firm um, that was connected with a factory, and uh, a friend of mine told me about the, an opportunity to be a plant manager there at the factory. And I, you know, I said, well, I don't know anything about making candy. The pay is good, but uh, he said, don't worry about it because we're, you'll be right next door to the consulting firm that he worked at, and and they owned the candy factory, and they, you know, they consult for candy and things like that, and snack foods, um, all kinds of things all across the United States, and. And he was right. The, pretty much in the first year, I probably went 10 years ahead of anybody in the business because uh, everything that I was making, anytime I had a, a problem with it, one of the guys would come over and work with me. Uh, it was amazing. So, so it was, to, needless to say, it was in my blood uh, because I had learned so much, uh, which was a good feeling. You know, anytime I talked to somebody about candy making, I, you know, it was just like, wow. You know, it became a passion because of that knowledge and. Um, then in 1987, my um, father passed away, and I, um, he, in his dying bed, I kind of asked him, should I be a musician or should I be a candy maker? And he thought about it. He wouldn't answer at me at first, and then a couple of days passed, and he was, you know, he was dying of cancer. So, uh, you know, every day got worse, and finally he just said, well, you know that question you asked me the other day? He says, why, why don't you be a candy maker? Um, so I said, okay, when, and that. At that point, it was showing me that life ends, you know, uh, that we only have so much time on the earth. So a lot of things were rushing in to me, 
And one of them that was the most fun was being a um, selling Kool Kool Aid on on the blocks or you know or things like that, and having a Kool Aid stand uh, when I was a kid. You know, uh, loved that entrepreneurial uh, thing, meeting people and yeah. things. So that all came rushing in, and I thought, let's let's try this with candy um, because I I could see in the business there was several families, smaller candy places that were family run. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was super cool because, you know, you spend eight hours, nine hours a day somewhere other than where, with your wife or your kids. It was a family-run business they, and they wanted to help you. Together, we could make this thing happen. And wow, what a cool thing. So, so now I've got both my daughters working here and, and my wife works here, so it's a dad's dream come true. So yeah, my dad passed away in May and then I opened up in December of uh, 87. So I've always, always knew of Geneva. Um, my mom, I think, came out here to the Little Traveler from time to time, you know, uh, her and her friends and that sort of thing. And, and when I, I had been working for other candy companies and then, you know, when I thought, okay, I need to just break off and do something on my own, when I started looking at locations, um, we went all over Chicago. I, I started gravitating towards a suburban area because I thought that would be, you know, if I could find something that was far, far enough away from Chicago, mm -hmm. um, the people in that area would really glom on to what I was doing because we, I would be part of that town. And then I thought about it and I said, yeah, you know, it's like everything that I get to do, that, that I'm going to do, I just got to put into it what I feel is the best the that best. I can make. Yeah. yeah. You know, don't be satisfied with just, eh, just turning out something that, you know, people yeah. might want to buy, but, you know, my name and, you know, everything is going to go behind that. I, I want to be part of that. So, there I was, making good candy.